Oh humans, today I wanted to talk about this guy right here, the Grey Matter Ballpoint Pen, wooden metal pen, there we go. Uh, I was at Staples recently, I've been looking for another pen to add into sort of my EDC rotation, and aesthetically, at least in the box, I quite like the look of this, so let's pop it open and see what there is to see. First, let's take a quick look at the packaging, wooden metal pen. It has all of the writing in English and then French. Uh, seven millimeter tip, or 0.7 millimeter tip, ballpoint, black ink, wooden metal barrel combination, slightly textured wood surface. That'll be interesting to see what type of slightly textured it is, uh, whether that just means like natural wood grain or if they have like a checkered stock, a checker stock uh, engraved into it or something like that. It's twist open and takes cartridge based refills, which is absolutely great. If you are spending more than a dollar on a pen, it should come with some type of refillable or replaceable cartridge. So seeing that on any pen that I plan on EDC is absolutely amazing and I love it. Uh, made in China, whatever, gray matter spelt in the worst way possible is a trademark of somebody named Joseph Miriman and Associates Inc, whatever. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. There's some details if you give a crap, but here is the pen itself. Let's, uh, let's pop this guy open. Oh, I'm putting it into the box. That explains it. Boom. All right. So the front of the box is is clear plastic, which is pretty wasteful, but whatever, I can get over it. Okay, I'm going to discount this center section and then complain about the middle for a second. So, the main body of the box seems to be cardboard, which is nice. It comes with this unnecessary chunk of fairly thick foam, which I am always annoyed when I see this. I think it's a complete and utter waste. And then it has this plastic insert into the cardboard, which... Not everywhere, but a lot of places won't let, won't recycle it if it has a piece of plastic in it like this, which is just, it's wasteful. It's unnecessary and it's wasteful. It's not the end of the world by any means, but a lot of the time you do need to undo it. And this one here seems to be glued rather than just stuck through, which makes it even worse in my opinion. So now that I've taken that piece out, I can actually recycle it. Then we have this piece of cardboard that can be recycled. And then we have this foam wow that foam's in rough shape i don't know if this is like a qc thing the box itself looks fine but this is like the roughest cutting i have ever seen on a piece of foam for a product uh it's like got this like filled flack sort of front to it which i'm not i'm not the hugest fan in the world it's a piece of cut foam it does its job i think it's unnecessary but that could just be me the pen itself as advertised has this nice wood uh upper section of the barrel and a what I'm assuming it feels it's heavy it feels quite a bit like a uh, coated steel bottom and it has this knob right here it's not it doesn't do anything it's just a little indexing knob to help you uh, twist it I'm assuming the wood quote-unquote texturing I'm assuming just means wood grain like I'm not feeling any or seeing any like cut marks or anything like that it just it feels like a wood grain uh, the metal section has this gray, I'm assuming it's a powder coat or a paint on it. It's very smooth. It's quite nice. Um, the opening, oh, that's the wrong way. The opening feeling is pretty good. It feels like it raises, it has a detent, a pair of detents on it. So it rests in one detent, you open it up, and then it sinks into the next detent, which I quite like. It's a good bit of positive indexing, and it stops at the end of its opening travel. It does not, however, stop at the end of its closing travel. You can feel the detent, and then you can pass the detent if you so choose, which I find, I'm sure, I have to believe there was a better way of doing that, just personally. It doesn't feature a pocket clip, which is a little bit annoying as far as carrying it as an ADC goes, but I've done it before, and I will likely do it again, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Aesthetically, I quite like the look of this. It has a fairly dark, it looks like some type of an oak wood, and then it has this nice, mm, medium dark gray uh, metal section on the bottom. Let's just open this up and see if I know what type of cartridge. It appears to take a uh, Parker cartridge refill, which is quite nice. I keep a couple of these around. 
This one here actually has no markings on it, which is interesting, but that's what it does and is. And it screws on. Yeah, it, it screws on fairly well, but it's also not difficult to go into the screwing phase. So I don't know if from here it'll rattle loose over time, but it is not particularly uncomfortable. It's a simple roller ball. It's a very, very clean, minimalistic aesthetic, which doesn't always suit me, I'm going to be honest. I really do like the look of it, wood and uh, this sort of coated metal. I think that it is a very, very pleasant looking product, but it doesn't necessarily match with a lot of the stuff that I own, especially this darker, this medium dark gray. Let's see how it writes real quick. Something I do like about that little knob there is that it will hold it in an open it won't roll around on a table or something like that, which can be very annoying when you're dealing with uh, pens. If they're completely smooth, they tend to roll around up and down, which can be quite frustrating. So as far as writing is concerned, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It feels very, very typical rollerball-y. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it rolls smoothly. It's exactly what you would sort of excuse my handwriting. It's got awful, but it rolls quite smoothly. It feels absolutely fine. I do really like, like the feel of that opening is very, very nice. It feels a little bit like some of those double detent joint knives. If you've ever experienced one of those where it sinks between the two phases very, very well. What I don't like as much is the closing. It it's very easy to go past the end of the closing and into unthreading. I wish, I don't know how they would do it, but I do wish there was a way of almost having like a end stop and then you have to push to unthread. Um, I imagine that'd be quite a bit more complex as far as machining goes, but personal preferences being what they were, I would quite like that. I like that it takes a standard Parker refill, but I digress. Let's do some size comparisons real quick. Here it is next to a regular number two B pencil. It is quite a bit smaller than that. And here it is next to my current daily driver, which is my Finex uh, T5 tie. And as you can see, they are very, very comparable in size. The Finex is ever so slightly smaller, but not much by any means. And then here it is next to my Eon. And as you can see, it is a little bit bigger than the Eon. Uh, final comparison that I always like to make is here it is next to a Zippo. The wooden section is actually very, very comparable in size to a Zippo which I quite like in terms of width. It is, again, extremely comparable to the size of the Zippo. Uh, so it's it'll slip into your pocket very, very easily. If you have some type of a pocket slip, um, that will keep your pens, or if you are the type of person who has an attachment on the side of their notebook, you can slide your pens into. I think that would probably be the best way of carrying something like this. But overall, it's quite nice. I like that most of the weight is towards the end. It makes it a lot easier to write or if you're sketching out something for a client, like if I were showing somebody what I'm thinking as far as a knife design or a weld design, like if they were make, having me make something for them. Uh, it's very, very easy to do flowy drawings with a lighter end. So something like this, where most of the weight is concentrated at the bottom, I actually really like using. Uh... Yeah, I think that sort of covers everything I have to say about it. I do quite like this. I do wish it had a pocket clip, uh, possibly where this little knob is, just because I think that this knob is doing very little that a pocket clip wouldn't do. And a pocket clip would add a little bit of functionality, but it doesn't have one. It's very, very clean looking. I really do like the wood. The uh, coated steel is take it or leave it for me, but it's nice. Stay safe and have fun out there. Peace.